So you're buying it, say with creative finance and you bought it subject to the existing note, or it was free and clear and you bought it, you know, from a note. Now you're going to sell it at a higher amount than you bought it for. That become the difference between what you bought it for uh, is going to make up the difference by that junior mortgage. Now, when somebody's brand new, a new real estate investor, it could be like sort of first question is, how in the world do I keep up with all that? I got this money going out. I got this money coming in. How in the world do I create an amortization schedule? How do I even get started <laughs> in the note business? That's a lot of moving parts going on right there. It is. I, I always say it's not, not difficult, Jay. It's just complex, right? There's a lot of moving parts, but the, here's the good thing about it is that I don't do all that myself e either. I mean, that's why we have, we use an RMLO, which is an, a residential mortgage loan originator that helps take the buyer, the buyers, the wrap buyers um, information, you know, pulls their credit, make sure they're who they say they are, make sure they can afford to make that payment. And then when we create that wrap mortgage, then we have it, we, we send that to a, a third party servicing company. A lot of people that have had bank loans in the past with the mortgage, they may have, uh, they may have seen this where it goes from Bank of America to some other entity they're not familiar with. And that's probably a servicer and the servicer. What's great about the servicer is that they manage everything. So they manage the collection of the payment from the wrap borrower. Okay. Let's just say it's a thousand dollars a month. And then let's just say that bank of America gets $700 of that. Okay. And let's say there's taxes and insurance. Well, the, the servicer will hold that in escrow, which is extremely valuable. So you're not chas chasing all that stuff down. And then the difference between those three, those three pieces is the money that goes into the banks, my bank account, which is because I'm the bank in that situation and I get that set up. And then and there's a back end lender portal. So the beauty of all of this, Jay, is that although it's like I said, it's it's not difficult, it's complex. Everything that we talked about can be done through outsourcing and leverage of third parties. That's the beauty of it, whether it be the title company, the attorney, the servicer, the, the RMLO, all of that. That's the that's what makes this thing so, so attractive, at least it does to me.